Hey, everybody. How you doing? Last Outrider here. Are you enjoying the What Is It series? Me too. Good. This time we're moving away from the Imperium and we're going to go with one of my favorite races, the Tyranids. And we're going to ask ourselves the question, what is a flesh borer? I know you've heard it, but what is it? Yeah, I'll answer you today with flesh borers are vile living weapons that hurl needle fanged borer beetles with gashing teeth and endless appetite for blood, bone, and organs. The beetles can chew their way through even flak armor with ease. Such is their voracious and single-minded hunger for biomatter that they have been known to burrow their way into lightly armored transports to fall upon the soft, fleshy crew within. When a flesh borer is spawned, it is already pregnant with borer magnet, maggots. As the weapon matures, the maggots grow within its tiny womb, each one mewling through tiny razor teeth. Only when the weapon is bonded to a larger tyranid organism does it reach a gross parity of adulthood, its diminutive children tearing at each other with the need to be free. I'm right. This is what they're writing here. It's what they're saying. It gets better. Flesh borers are commonly carried by termagnants, the creatures feeding the living organ weapons nutrients with their own bodies as they might birth more deadly beetles. Oh, so that they might birth more deadly beetles. Gotcha. So this is talking about how the weapon gets the strength of the the organism that's carrying it so it's saying uh the terminance is feeding it with its own nutrients so that it can have more deadly beetles in battle termagant broods can send out a hail of boar <clears throat> fire as they close with the enemy the air thick with the glistening beetles as they seek a fleshy target to latch on to e ah the living ammunition of the flesh borer means that even a near miss or a flesh wound can prove fatal, as once the beetle has tasted blood, it will burrow its way unerringly towards a creature's innards. More than one Imperial Guardsman has considered himself lucky to have taken a round in the shoulder or arm only to fall on the floor screaming moments later as the lump under his skin moves towards his heart. Bum, bum, bum. Next, we will talk about flesh borers and gargoyles. Apparently, it's different for them. We'll see you next time. Bye.